All right guys, it's me, Heidi Powell, and I am here today to help you realize why you should not let the scale be the only thing that tells you how far you've come in your weight loss journey or your transformation journey as a whole. It's funny because that number on the scale so often dictates um, really how we feel. It dictates our mindset. It can either put us on a path to feeling amazing and feeling great and continuing to strive toward our goals, or it can actually put us on a downward spiral if the number on the scale isn't what we expect it to be. And the number on the scale is so dependent on so many different factors. So today I want to show you what true scale funk is. Okay. First of all, I have six scales on the ground here. It is so important to know that not all scales are created equally. I'm gonna step on every one of these scales right here, same outfit, and I'm gonna show you that they're all different. All right, so scale number one. This is the Taylor scale. 123, oh, 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 it's dancing. 123.8 is what this scale says I weigh. I'm gonna step right onto the Vita sign scale. 115.4, so that's, what is that? Eight pounds difference between these two scales. Stepping back here, 114.8. Look at this, guys, see, there's at least a couple pounds different. 115.6.4, here we go. Stepping back, oh, hold on, this one I did that wrong, so I'm gonna have to wait. That one, um, oh, I have to wait till, oh, here we go. 116.2. And then this final one, 116.6. So guys, obviously you can see there is a difference between every single one of the scales. Some of them were a pound different, some were three pounds different, up to eight pounds different. Tip number one, when it comes to weighing in, make sure you are weighing in on the same scale every single day. It does no good to weigh in on a scale at home and then go to the gym and weigh in on the gym scale and be upset that there's a difference and then go to work and weigh on the bathroom scale there. No, guys, same scale every single time you weigh in. Resist the temptation to try another one. Clothing, the clothing we wear when we step on the scale is very important. A pair of sweats. Sweats seem like they would be so lightweight and I'm also going to throw on a tank top because it's super lightweight tank top, it's going to have a little bit of a difference. Check this out. And I could even throw a couple, some sandals on, because sandals are super light. And I'm gonna head on that same scale. And that 115 is now 116.6. And remember, that was 114.8 before, so I gained almost two pounds just by simply shifting what I'm wearing. So tip number two with weighing in, make sure you're weighing in in the exact same outfit every time you weigh in. So we got same scale, same clothing. If you weigh in in uh, spandex and a sports bra, one week, you're gonna wanna weigh in in the same thing the next week. If you weigh in in this entire outfit, you're gonna wanna wear the exact same outfit the next time. Shoes, no shoes, jewelry, no jewelry. Just keep it consistent. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is time of day. So we're gonna treat that 115 pounds like it's morning. Like I woke up in the morning and I weighed in and I was 115 pounds. Now as the day goes on, a lot happens with our bodies. We start eating foods, we start drinking water, um, we're, we're stressed, we're retaining water, we're sweating. There's a lot of fluid in and fluid out. So I'm gonna treat this like my breakfast right here. All right, let me just show you. If I drink this, okay, this is just one, one protein shake. I'm getting really full. <laughs> this is a lot to drink at one time. But for you, I'm doing it. Okay, one protein shake. I didn't even have any carbs, not a, not a full meal. Many times we eat three to four meals. We drink a gallon of water and we step on the scale. That 115 is now 116.2. 
So I took off all those layers of clothes. With one protein shake, I am up over a pound. Now guys, I also want to point out, water weighs a lot. One gallon of water is eight pounds. So if you step on that scale and you're holding a gallon of water, not that you're drinking a whole gallon at one time, but it's super easy for our skin to retain water. If we've worked out, our legs, our muscles are going to retain fluid, retain water. So at any point in time, our body can hold between, I mean, it can hold up to, believe it or not, 20 pounds of water. So guys, tip number three when it comes to weighing in, weigh in at the same time every single day. The final tip, you gotta weigh in the same day of the week. So if you're following one of our plans on our app or our book or whatever you're doing, Carb cycling, you're gonna have high carb one day, you're gonna have low carb another day. The number on the scale is going to be a direct reflection of what day you are on. If you had your reward day yesterday and you step on the scale this morning, chances are with all that sodium, all the sugar, all the carbs that you had, you're gonna be up 10 pounds. I am a huge fan of making sure that every time you step on the scale, um, there, there's, there's consistency to it and you're not doing it more than one time a week. There are certain points in time where you might need to step on the scale daily to track your number up and then down throughout the week and then up and then down. But don't obsess over the, the number on the scale because there are obviously so many variables. Now on that note guys, I also wanna tell you with not obsessing about the number on the scale, so what can we think about? What, what determinants can we use to tell us if we are on track or off track for our transformation goals? We use something we call non-scale victories. For short, we call them NSV. These are so, so important. What is a non-scale victory? There are things like being able to shorten your belt by one loop. Um, maybe it's that you can get on an airplane for the first time and not use a seatbelt extender. Maybe it's that you played with your kids today and you felt energized and you didn't feel tired and winded. All of these things are really, really important. And they, to me, they are far more important. So guys, I hope with all this demo here, all the clothes, all the drinks, all the scales, you can see why it's so important that we don't let the number on the scale dictate what we think in our mind or how we feel about ourselves. There is so much more to it. You are doing great. Just a reminder, same scale, same clothes, same time of day, same day of the week, every single week is the, oh, and non-scale victories. Super important, guys. You will be well on your way toward reaching your goals and being much happier and healthier. All right, guys, if you want more questions, more demos, please comment below. Tell me what you want. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will be back very, very soon. Bye, guys.